Well, I like cooking with 10 ingredients or less, but Food Network's Claire Robinson is the expert on just five ingredients, and she has a flavor forecast for 2014. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. This is what's really exciting. It's actually five trends. I'm so excited to be working with McCormick for their 125th anniversary. So basically, happy birthday. You're super old. Uh, been around the block a few times, but we've all, we all know McCormick spices. It's, they're amazing. I love them. But this is actually a way that they're giving back to us. So they, they're releasing, in honor of their birthday, their 2014 flavor forecast. This is something they've been doing for 14 years. And every year they release a forecast that's going to tell us about the food trends, the hot new flavors that you're going to see maybe not tomorrow, but in the next one to three years. One of my favorite trends is actually chili obsession. So that's one of the trends. And within each of the trends, they've created recipes to celebrate the flavors that you're going to see within that trend. So one of the trends, chili obsession, they have a mole fondue, which has three kinds of chili, peanut butter, rum, uh, of course, two kinds of chocolate, and it's absolutely delicious. I'm dipping a churro into it, and then actually, after it goes into the chocolate, it's going into toasted sesame seeds. Delicious, absolutely fun way to get chilies into unexpected uh, dishes. So are we talking chili peppers? So that's how chili obsession as the new trend. You might say, well, I know chili. What you probably know are like the red pepper chili flakes or chipotle, which interestingly enough, chipotle was one of the, the forecasted trends in 2003. They were really on the money. If I was them, I would be like, I told you so. <laughs> but uh, so they were right on the money with that one. But they're actually talking about chili darbo and all of these other chilies that are not as commonplace, but they feel will become more commonplace. The cool thing about chili is it's not always spicy. It can add depths of smoke and complexity and bring out out other flavors that it's married with with few ingredient cooking as you know as a 10 ingredient girl yourself so this can also be in desserts there's so many fun ways you know they've actually written incredible recipes if you go to flavorforecast.com you'll see some of the recipes as well as so many of the other trends there's five trends within each trend there's really cool new flavors tea is one of them for example clever compact cooking is the trend that they're predicting but tea is an ingredient, a flavor that they believe we're going to start to use in more than just one way in our, in our coffee cup. You know, they believe that we're going to put it into things like corn chowder, which they have a wonderful smoky, it's got Lapsang Sushang tea in it, smoky corn chowder uh, with cumin. It's delicious. Chorizo. You, you want to try that for sure. What are the other trends? Brazil. So basically, after those two, when you, it's a global tour. So we've got, we kind of go from Chili's Obsession to Clever Compact Cooking to Brazil, Mexico, and India. So it's uh, Brazil, some of the flavors in there, guava. Guava is something, again, not so commonplace, but as a paste or as a juice, you're going to start to see more and more. I actually had a guava cake the other day. Delicious. Again, unique, not so commonplace, but will become. Um, in Mexico, we already know Mexico, right? So that, again, not so new, but what we don't know are a lot of authentic Mexican ingredients. So charred tomatillos, that's one of the flavors they're predicting to become more on the forefront in everybody's everyday kitchen. Uh, and then when it comes to India, we know curry, but you think of one kind of curry when I do, I think of one kind of curry, that typical curry spice that's in almost all of our cabinets that we maybe use here and there, but there's so many other kinds of curry. Garam masala is a wonderful one. And what I love is they come up with unique ways that you can use this in your kitchen now instead of waiting the one to three years, be ahead of the curve, be the trendsetter instead of the follower. Um, but they created what I see as like a new version of a shrimp cocktail with um, a garam masala curry, which is just a curry, uh, dressing, vinaigrette. So instead of making cocktail sauce, make this really cool vinaigrette. And where can we go then to get more information? Well, flavorforecast.com will tell you more about the trends, the recipes, the flavors that are to come. But what I really want to set where I want you to go, besides definitely go check out the recipes and the trends, but give back this holiday, and this is the coolest thing. So besides McCormick is giving us all this really cool information, they're going to also give back to United Way and feed those who are in need if you go to flavorofTogether.com and write a flavor story. A dollar for every story, up to $1.25 million. 
Thanks, Claire. And again, that website is flavoroftogether.com. Now let's head over to Tiffany.